On July 1st, 2025, a telescope in Chale detected something that shouldn't exist. An object moving at 68 kilometers slash, traveling on the most extreme trajectory ever recorded with an orbital eccentricity that breaks the laws of physics as we know them. This visitor carries the designation 3 Atlas, and it represents the third confirmed interstellar object to invade our solar system. But unlike the mysterious Yumu Amuo or the familiar Borisov, this cosmic intruder is different. It's bigger, faster, and more active than anything we've encountered before. This comet could be up to 24 kilometers across, making it potentially the largest interstellar visitor ever detected. It's racing through space with a hyperbolic trajectory that will carry it past Mars, around the Sun, and back into the void forever. We have only months to unlock its secrets before it vanishes into the darkness between stars. Prepare yourself for the most shocking interstellar discovery of our time. We begin late in the evening on July 1, 2025. Larry Dino, a software engineer at the Atlas Telescope in Chile, was processing routine observations when something caught his attention. A faint dot of light, magnitude 18, moving across the star fields near Jupiter's orbit at an impossible speed. It looked like a completely routine discovery, Dino recalls. But the preliminary calculations made his blood run cold. The object wasn't just moving fast. It was moving at speeds that should be impossible for anything bound to our solar system. At 68 kilometers slash is relative to the sun, this object was traveling far faster than any solar system object should be able to move. The Atlas Survey Telescope had stumbled upon something extraordinary. The object, initially tagged with the cryptic designation 11PI3Z, was entering the inner solar system from the direction of Sagittarius, arriving from the very heart of our galaxy. But this wasn't some ordinary comet making a return visit after thousands of years in the outer darkness. The mathematics were undeniable. Such speeds ensure objects will slip through the sun's gravitational grasp. Anything moving this quickly simply can't hang around long. Rather than following a typical elliptical orbit, this object's blistering speed was carving out a hyperbolic trajectory, a path that takes it swooping through the inner solar system before soaring back to the interstellar void. Within hours, observatories across the globe were turning their most powerful instruments toward this mysterious visitor. The Minor Planet Center received over 122 observations from 31 different observatories within the first 24 hours. Professional astronomers and amateur observers alike realized they were witnessing something unprecedented. The object was officially designated 3I Atlas on July 2nd, marking it as only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. The Roman numeral 3 placed it in an exclusive club that includes the mysterious OUA MUA and the familiar comet Boris. But 3 Atlas was already proving to be unlike anything astronomers had seen before. Early observations revealed something even more remarkable. This wasn't just a dead rock tumbling through space. Telescopes detected clear signs of cometary activity, including a faint coma and a tail stretching at least 25,000 kilometers through space. After millions of years drifting through the frigid depths between stars, this ancient visitor was awakening as our sun's energy began heating its icy surface. The discovery timeline was about to get even more shocking when amateur astronomers made a disturbing revelation about what NASA had missed. What NASA didn't want you to know is that 3I Atlas had been visible in their telescope images for weeks before the official discovery. Amateur astronomer Sam Dean, working from his home computer, systematically searched through archived Atlas data and made a shocking discovery. Dean found clear images of the interstellar visitor dating back to June 25th through 29th, extending the observation timeline by crucial weeks. But that wasn't all. Yaquanzi located even earlier observations from the Zwicky Transient Facility spanning June 14th through 21st. The evidence was undeniable. This cosmic invader had been photographed multiple times before anyone in the professional astronomy community recognized what they were looking at. 
Sam Dean suspected that 3i Atlas was not discovered earlier because it was passing in front of the galactic sense dense star fields where the comet would be hard to discern among billions of background stars. The object had been hiding in plain sight, camouflaged against the most crowded region of the night sky. The extended observation timeline allowed for devastating precision in calculating the object's true trajectory. With weeks of data instead of days, astronomers determined that 3 Pi Atlas has an orbital eccentricity of 6.2, the most extreme trajectory ever recorded for any object passing through our solar system. To understand how extreme this number is, consider that Earth's orbit has an eccentricity near zero, representing a nearly perfect circle. Even Hall's comet, with its highly elongated 76-year orbit, reaches an eccentricity of less than one. When eccentricity exceeds one, objects follow hyperbolic paths that enter our solar system once and never return. But an eccentricity of 6.2 represents something almost beyond comprehension. The amateur astronomers had exposed a fundamental failure in our detection systems. How many other interstellar visitors had passed unnoticed simply because they traveled through inconvenient regions of the sky? Professor John Tonry from the University of Hawaii admitted that quite a few interstellar objects come through our inner solar system each year, though 3 Atlas is by far the biggest to date. The pre-discovery observations also revealed why automated systems failed to flag the object earlier. The comet was traveling through the galactic plane where star density reaches maximum concentrations, creating a visual chaos that confused detection algorithms designed to spot moving objects against relatively empty backgrounds. This revelation raised disturbing questions about our planetary defense capabilities. If we could miss a massive interstellar comet for weeks, what else might be approaching undetected? The answer would soon become clear as astronomers realized the true scope of this cosmic invasion. 3 Atlas is moving at 68 kilometers slash as relative to our sun shattering every speed record for interstellar visitors and redefining what we thought possible for objects traveling between star systems. To comprehend this velocity, imagine traveling from New York to Los Angeles in less than 90 seconds or circling the entire Earth in under 10 minutes. This speed is so extreme that it places 3i Atlas in a category beyond anything previously observed. The mysterious Oumuamua reach speeds of 26 kilometers slash, while Comet Borisov traveled at 32 kilometers slashes. Three Atlas is moving more than twice as fast as any confirmed interstellar object in recorded history. Such speeds ensure that objects will slip through the sun's gravitational grasp without slowing down. The escape velocity from our solar system varies with distance from the sun, but typically ranges from 42 to 45 kilometers slash s. 3 I Atlas exceeds this threshold by such a massive margin that our sun's gravity barely affects its trajectory. The physics behind such extraordinary velocity tells a story of cosmic violence that occurred millions of years ago in a distant star system. Objects don't achieve these speeds through gentle gravitational nudges. 3. I Atlas most likely came from the outskirts of some other planetary system, where it was ejected from its orbit around an alien sun by catastrophic gravitational interactions with a giant planet or a passing star. The comet's trajectory analysis reveals it has been approaching from the general direction of Sagittarius, where the central region of our galaxy is located. This path suggests it may have originated from the galactic disk the flat plane where most stars in the Milky Way reside. Computer models suggest that achieving such extreme velocities requires multiple gravitational encounters or single catastrophic events. Binary star systems, supernova explosions, or close encounters with stellar mass black holes could provide the tremendous energy needed to accelerate objects to these speeds. The comet has likely been traveling through interstellar space for millions or even billions of years before recently arriving in our solar system. What makes this speed even more remarkable is that 3i Atlas shows no signs of slowing down. Unlike objects born in our solar system that follow predictable elliptical orbits, this visitor will maintain its velocity as it races past the sun 
and continues its eternal journey into the darkness beyond. The comet's hyperbolic excess velocity when far from the sun measures approximately 60 kilometers slash, confirming that it will exit our solar system at nearly the same speed it entered after its brief encounter with our cosmic neighborhood. Three I Atlas will disappear into the void between stars, carrying whatever secrets it holds back into the galactic darkness. But this record-breaking speed creates an urgent problem for astronomers racing to study this cosmic messenger before it vanishes forever. The orbital eccentricity of 6.2 that defines 31 Atlas represents mathematics so extreme that it challenges our understanding of what's possible in gravitational dynamics. This number encodes the story of the most violent cosmic event ever recorded in our solar system's vicinity. Understanding orbital eccentricity requires grasping the fundamental shapes that objects can follow through space. A perfect circle has an eccentricity of zero, representing the most stable possible orbit. Earth's slightly oval path around the sun measures just 0.017, keeping our planet at nearly constant distance from our star throughout the year. Most objects in our solar system follow similarly well-behaved orbits. Even highly elongated paths like that of Halley's Comet reach eccentricities of only 0.967. These are bound orbits, mathematical curves that close upon themselves and repeat indefinitely. When eccentricity exceeds one, the fundamental mathematics change completely. Objects begin following hyperbolic trajectories open curves that stretch toward infinity without ever returning. This is exactly what defines interstellar objects. Their hyperbolic orbital paths prove they originated outside our solar system and will never return. But an eccentricity of 6.2 represents something almost beyond theoretical limits. 3i Atlas follows one of the most open hyperbolic trajectories possible, barely influenced by our sun's gravitational field. Even during its closest approach, the object is moving so fast that solar gravity can only slightly bend its path, like trying to redirect a bullet with a gentle breeze. Harvard astronomer Alvi Lowe has calculated that such extreme orbital parameters create untenable mass densities in interstellar space unless 3i Atlas represents an incredibly rare population of cosmic wanderers. The mathematics suggests that either this object is much smaller than initial estimates indicate or interstellar visitors like it are far rarer than previously calculated. The precise trajectory calculations reveal additional shocking details. Three Atlas entered our solar system on a path inclined 175 degrees relative to the ecliptic plane, meaning it's traveling in a retrograde direction almost opposite to planetary motion. This extreme inclination provides additional confirmation of its alien origin and suggests it experienced complex gravitational interactions during its journey through interstellar space. The comet will reach perihelion on October 29th at a distance of 1.356 astronomical units from the Sun, placing it just inside the orbit of Mars. During this closest approach, 3i Atlas will experience maximum solar heating potentially revealing its true composition and internal structure through spectroscopic analysis. The mathematical precision of these calculations allows astronomers to predict exactly where this cosmic visitor will travel during its brief passage through our solar system. 3. I Atlas nearly became the ultimate interstellar visitor that escaped detection entirely, camouflaged against the most challenging observational background in the entire night sky. For crucial weeks, this massive cosmic wanderer traveled through our solar system completely invisible to automated detection systems. Not because it was too faint, but because it was hiding in the worst possible location for astronomical observations. The object's orbital path carried it directly in front of the galactic center, the incredibly dense heart of our Milky Way galaxy, where billions of stars create a brilliant, overwhelmingly crowded backdrop. Imagine trying to spot a single snowflake during a blizzard of light, and you begin to understand the monumental challenge astronomers face. This region towards Sagittarius contains the highest concentration of visible stars anywhere on Earth's night sky, precisely where the central region of our galaxy is located. 
The massive galactic bulge creates such an extraordinarily dense stellar field that distinguishing individual moving objects from static background stars becomes almost impossibly difficult. Automated detection systems specifically designed and optimized to spot moving objects against relatively empty star fields struggle tremendously in these visually chaotic regions. Sam Dean, the amateur astronomer who eventually found the crucial prediscovery observations, noted that three eye atlas likely remained undetected for such an extended period precisely because of this cosmic camouflage effect. The irony of this near miss is staggering. Three Aya. Atlas arrived from the general direction of Sagittarius, potentially carrying invaluable scientific information about star formation processes and planetary system evolution from the most dynamic region of our galaxy. Yet, its very origin among the dense star fields made detection nearly impossible using current automated survey techniques. The galactic center region presents unique observational challenges that extend far beyond simple star density. Interstellar dust clouds scatter and absorb light, creating complex patterns of brightness and darkness that confuse automated detection algorithms. Gravitational lensing effects from massive objects can distort the apparent positions of background stars, making it even more difficult to identify genuinely moving objects. Only when 3 Aya Atlas finally moved away from the densest concentration of background stars did automated survey systems begin flagging it as potentially unusual.